Hello, Mark here with you today. We're going to take a quick look at these long out of production kits from John Long. The original Star Trek series communicator and the hand phaser. So in both examples, since I already have idealized versions of the communicator and phaser from the wand company, master replicas, etc., I wanted to do it kind of like what it was on the show. In other words, bare bones with all the mistakes, solder spills, um, just to make it look like a functioning real prop. Let me, let me back up a second. Not functioning because at first, although I was going to put a stopwatch into this communicator, I decided not to because I wanted to make it like the photograph we all saw in the making of Star Trek book. And um, that's what I did. So there we have it. No sound, no lights. And that's fine with me. I don't need toys to play around with. I mean, to each his own, but uh, I just want to a copy for myself that I made that I could uh, add to my collection. These kits are not for the faint of heart, I have to say, although the detailed instructions walk you through, you really need to know what you're doing to, uh, to, to, to make one of these things. Uh, a lot of cutting involved, unfamiliar products to use, Contact cement, clear epoxies, gray epoxies, JB Weld, that kind of thing. So that's the communicator. The phaser was more of a challenge because there's an intricate light circuit that makes you appreciate what the guys did back in the 60s. And again, I wanted to make it look like a functioning prop. If you've seen the props, they're beat up and... I mean, they're really junk, to be honest with you. I, as much as I love them, we all love them. They're, they would never pass the muster of the uh, flashlight Nazis at any of the uh, uh, model shows or anything like that. And since these are for me, I wanted to replicate that. This being the one that um, I wanted it to look like uh, the Greg Jean version that there's numerous photographs online. Although I didn't, I kept the edges straight where they're clipped haphazardly on this grill here. I kept them straight. I may go back and change that. Uh, but again, uh, a lot of work, a lot of cutting. This isn't a ready to make kit, ready to make kit. I'm sorry. You have to really, uh, this is fiberglass, this one. And, um, you really have to take your time, especially when it comes to the internals. So there's a end cell battery in there, just like the original. And when you push the thumb wheel forward, the emitter extends and lights up and then retracts. So there's a grain of wheat bulb in there right now, just like they used on the series. I may at some time in the future um, put a LED in there or something similar, but it was uh, brush painted with a mixture of uh, just a gray a great color. I mean, there's guys swearing it's this, that, this, and that. But these things were painted so many times that you would drive yourself nuts to try and figure it out. It looks really dark in this photo, but it's a, just a very dark gray. So they were a lot of fun to do and um, a lot of work, but worth it to me. Thanks for stopping by.